Extinct species of animal are coming back to life? There's been a lot of commotion as of late on a scientific breakthrough, where it appears a certain bioengineering company has successfully managed to bring back an ancient animal to the modern day. These fellow fluffballs are named Romulus and Remus, and a company known as Colossal Biosciences has managed to awaken a long dormant series of genetic traits not seen in thousands of years. We're talking about the return of the dire wolf, one of the oldest ancestors to the plethora of canine species we know and love today. Romulus and Remus have traits that reflect that of a wild wolf as opposed to a domesticated dog, preferring solitude and airing on the side of caution around humans. It's a shame, but perhaps it's best we take our time on restarting the domestication process before a 150 pound or 68 kilogram wolf is released to the public as common house pets. But until that happens, it's fascinating to be a part of history in the making where extinct species seem to be making a comeback through research and science. Colossal Biosciences also seems to be hot on the trail and bringing back the woolly mammoth too, already achieving unlocking the woolly gene in mice. Look at these little fluffy bike-sized units. Oh gosh, they're so cute. <clears throat> Anyways, but who's to say whether this is ethical or if it's even a good idea to bring extinct animals back to life with so many other modern problems with species present. It's certainly a valid point of discussion, but for now it's just so wild to think 